In 2010, the unthinkable happened. An amusement park ride turned into a death trap, claiming six lives and injuring many more. Join us as we unravel the chilling details of the Space Journey disaster, a story that will leave you questioning the very nature of thrill-seeking entertainment. The ride responsible for this disaster was called Space Journey, located in Shenzhen, China, at OCT Eco Adventure. This attraction was designed to simulate the Apollo 11 mission, giving riders a taste of what it felt like to launch into space and explore the cosmos. However, instead of providing a thrilling and enjoyable experience, the ride became more akin to the Challenger disaster, ending in devastation and immense sorrow. To fully understand the gravity of this incident, it is crucial to provide context and background information on the location and design of Space Journey. OCT Eco Adventure was a major resort complex situated in the Guangdong province, constructed between 2004 and 2007. The resort boasted eight hotels and over a dozen restaurants catering to a wide range of visitors. The main attraction, however, was the three theme parks that made up the complex, Night Valley, Tea Stream Resort Valley, and Wind Valley. Despite the resort's claims of having three theme parks, only Night Valley could genuinely be considered as such. The other two parks were more akin to nature reserves, offering picturesque landscapes and scenery for guests to admire. Nevertheless, the overarching goal of OCT Eco Adventure was to provide both entertainment and education, with a focus on ecotourism, innovative sciences, and landscaping. Night Valley, the park where Space Journey was located, had a unique theme that blended the worlds of oceans and outer space. The park promised a variety of attractions that would offer immersive and exciting experiences for its guests. However, upon its debut in 2010, the park's offerings were rather limited. The only notable attractions at the time were Wood Coaster, which opened in 2011, and the ill-fated Space Journey. Space Journey was not a roller coaster, but rather a carnival ride that aimed to simulate the sensation of taking off into space. The absence of any photos or videos of the ride itself made it difficult to gain a comprehensive understanding of the attraction. This was due to the ride being indoors and in darkness, with its operation ceasing after only a month. The best available image was an exterior shot of the entrance, leaving much to the imagination regarding the ride's design and appearance. Based on available information, Space Journey would be best described as a modified centrifuge attraction. Centrifuges are large, spinning rides where riders enter a circular room, stand against the walls, and experience the centrifugal force pinning them in place as the room rotates. Space Journey's design deviated slightly from this format, featuring 12 individual cars that seats four people each. The ride still subjected its riders to strong G-forces, but they were experienced laterally rather than front to back. The ride system utilized a 50-foot vertical spike to simulate the sensation of taking off, with the cars attached to a central axis by an arm. This design allowed for the creation of a thrilling experience, as long as the ride functioned as intended. Unfortunately, on June 29, 2010, a catastrophic failure occurred, with one of the cars plummeting 39 feet to the ground due to the arm's inability to support the weight. Six people lost their lives as a result, and many more were injured in the ensuing chaos. The tragedy struck at 4.45 p.m., when all 11 cabins on Space Journey, a spacecraft simulation ride, suddenly turned upside down. Among the injured was a Hong Kong man named Ao Ming Ming, who was 34 years old at the time. He suffered serious injuries to his head and arms, and had to undergo surgery at Shenzhen People's Hospital after being transferred from Yantian People's Hospital. An executive of a tourist company who witnessed the accident while waiting for his group to finish riding Space Journey said that the whole ride lasted around five minutes. The accident happened as the cabins were about to land. All of a sudden, the cabins turned upside down and passengers started to fall. Not even their safety belts could hold them, he recalled. The executive, who preferred to remain anonymous, also mentioned that security guards panicked when it happened and did not know how to respond. Many of the injured only managed to receive medical treatment in the hospital almost two hours after the accident. A tourist who was treated at Yantian said he smelled something burning when the accident happened and managed to escape by opening the door of the space cabin. The ride has 11 cabins, each with a capacity of four passengers. The power went out suddenly when the accident happened, and I smelled something burning, 
We got together and opened the door, said the tourist. We found none of the doors of the other ten cabins open, and they were opened only with the help of firemen. A woman from Henan, who suffered fractures of a finger and an ankle and lacerations and bruises, told Xinhua she was sitting in a cabin when she heard a big bang before she lost consciousness. OCT East, a nine-square-kilometer complex at Damei Sha in Shenzhen, was built at a cost of 3.5 billion yuan. The resort complex, encompassing the EcoVenture Valley Amusement Park and the ill-fated Space Journey ride, would never be the same after this tragic event. The cause of this tragic accident has been a subject of intense scrutiny and debate. Was it due to poor maintenance by the park, or did the manufacturer provide a faulty product? According to the park, they had operated Space Journey for over a year before Night Valley opened. However, this fact does not absolve the park from the responsibility of conducting regular maintenance and safety checks before allowing guests to board the ride. If any issues had been discovered, the blame would likely fall on the manufacturer. After the accident, Night Valley appeared to take some responsibility for the tragedy, compensating the victims and their families. This action may have been motivated by a desire to avoid a major lawsuit, as the city of Shenzhen had a significant stake in OCT Eco Adventure and could not afford for the resort to go under. Following the tragedy, investigations were conducted and questions about the ride's safety, maintenance, and inspection processes were raised. The amusement park industry was left to reevaluate its safety protocols and standards, with many other parks and ride manufacturers taking a closer look at their own operations to prevent similar accidents from happening in the future. However, there is strong evidence to suggest that the manufacturer, BJA, was primarily at fault. As a Chinese knockoff company known for creating cheaper versions of existing rides, BJA had a less than stellar reputation. Space Journey was a one-of-a-kind ride for the company and essentially a prototype. The lack of experience and potentially cutting corners during the ride's construction may have contributed to the accident. Despite the public's outcry for justice, there has been little information regarding any lawsuits against the manufacturer. Any potential lawsuits remain undisclosed, and the company continues to produce rides to this day. Regardless of whether the fault lies with Night Valley or BJA, the fact remains that six lives were lost and many more injured due to someone's negligence. In conclusion, the Space Journey disaster will forever be remembered as one of the worst amusement park accidents in history, leaving a painful scar on the industry and those affected by it. It is a stark reminder of the need for vigilance and the prioritization of safety in the design, construction, and operation of amusement park attractions. The lessons learned from this tragedy must be taken to heart to ensure that such a devastating event never occurs again. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the tragic space journey accident at EcoVenture Valley Amusement Park in Shenzhen, China. We hope this story has shed light on the importance of safety regulations and the need for constant vigilance in the amusement park industry.